In this lesson, we'll look at using firewall and network protection in the Windows Security app. Open the Windows Security app and select firewall and network protection. You'll most likely see these three profiles listed here, domain, private, and public. Now these should all normally be on, and the rules you're currently using will show as active. Domain would be used if your device detects that it's on a network that uses Active Directory. This would be the kind of network setup that you often find in a large business or organization. With domain, the firewall rules can be managed for all devices on that network from the domain controllers, which makes this a very useful setting. Private and public are firewall settings that are appropriate to each setting. Private, of course, allows more communication between your device and other devices on the same network. Public tends to be more protective and it will generally block attempts from other devices to communicate with and or share things to your device. Occasionally, you may need to open a port through the firewall or make adjustments to get an application to function properly. In the past, you had to dig quite a bit to find the firewall settings for Windows. From the Windows Security app, you can easily get to them under this firewall and network protection area. Now there's two main ways you can make changes to your firewall settings. You can open or close specific ports, or you can grant apps permission to pass data through the firewall without needing to know and specify the port numbers. Select the links down here to allow an app through the firewall, or you can select advanced settings. Both of these will open the appropriate window to make changes, and of course changes to the firewall require admin access. Now this is because changes to the firewall could actually expose your device to all kinds of bad news if you open the wrong port or grant access to a malicious application. I recommend you don't make changes here unless you work with a knowledgeable and trusted source of support. If you do make changes, or you're concerned that your firewall is not protecting your device, the link down here to restore firewalls to default will do just that. The link firewall notification settings will take us to the app settings, and here I'll select manage notifications, and notice my last group is related to our firewall settings. As you can see by default, the firewall will pop up with a notification to let you know that an attempt was made. Now it doesn't just make you aware of the attempt, but it will also allow you to decide if this type of attempt should be permitted. In this lesson, we've looked at tools included for firewall and network protection in the Windows Security app. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.